What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So in today's video I'm going to show you part of the lesson on how to play Like a Rolling Stone, covered by Jimi Hendrix. And uh, this was requested and supported by Angus Gilroy, so huge thanks goes out to him for the support. Um, like I mentioned, this is going to be just a part of the lesson. The full lesson is going to be available at GuitarForce.com. Uh, you will find the link in the description box down below. And with the download, you're going to be getting the full uh, video lesson all of the uh, tabs in PDF format and also the full playthrough of the entire song, just the guitar. And uh, I will probably post it also to my other channel. Uh, so if you'd like to check out the full, um, the full playthrough of uh, the entire song, uh, you will find the link also in the description box down below. Uh, speaking of Jimi Hendrix, uh, if you haven't had a chance uh, still to check out my course, which is a huge course in two parts, which is called Get Experience. There is a ton of information there um, about Jimi Hendrix's style of playing. Check it out. The links are also going to be in the description box down below. Um, apart from that, for the sound, I was using uh, the uh, same thing, the VST plugin guitar rig. And I'm going to show you the picture of the preset in just a moment. And uh, also the tuning for this uh, song is going to be half step down on all the strings. Uh, so while you're checking out the picture of the preset, here is my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. So as usual, we're going to break up this song into parts. We're going to start off with the intro and the intro we also going to break up into a couple of parts. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to play the first part of the intro and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. So here uh, the whole intro is based on the chorus. So there are just three chords going on here. So these chords are C, F, and G. All right, so the way Jimmy is playing this intro, the first part, by the way, he's playing it on a bridge pickup. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then later on, he switches to the, uh, to the neck pickup. So if, if you want to get closer to his sound, I would suggest you use uh, the bridge pickup and also the volume knob is uh, rolled all the way up so it, uh, you know you get a little bit more of a sustain and, and overdrive as well. Um, all right. And the whole, the whole intro is based on, um, he's using dynamics a lot uh, in, in this part. All right, so the beginning goes like this. We start off by playing the C uh, power chord, so he hits it, little rest, then muted strings, then we go to the F chord, uh, plays it two times, little rest, then a slide from an F chord to the G chord, another rest, hits it again, then so here, again, uh, hitting the muted strings, then hitting the F chord three times, and the third time we slide into G again, back to the C. So, so far we got this. Now here, he does this slide, so it's just up and down, but the way he does it, of course, Jimi Hendrix being Jimi Hendrix, he does it not just like, like that, but he does it with his thumb up and then on the way down, just a regular slide. So, you know, it's just a little trick. If you want to use it, you can use it. If you don't, you know, you can just do the slide up, up and down the uh, kind of standard way. Uh, and then uh, after the slide up and down, Again, we're playing the muted strings, then three times the F chord, going to the G, 
hitting it two times in between we have uh, two rests and then for the C when the whole band kicks in he's playing so here just alternating the C power chord with an open A string so he does it for about three times and then we get into um, you know the chord progression where the whole band is playing and everything so basically just playing um, the chorus part so here we continue with the C chord so after the C chord uh, sometimes Jimmy would slide down to the B flat and then he goes into F chord now here he's a lot of times uh, Jimmy would be using, in this song in particular, the F chord and the G chords uh, being played sus2 and sus4. So for sus2 you get uh, the F chord but the G string is open. And then a lot of times he would hammer on onto the, onto the major third. And then when he plays on the G chord is almost I would say 90% of the time he's playing it um, as the uh, sus, uh, sus 2. So in other words, uh, or as a G5 chord, a kind of power chord, but using just the octaves. Then the G string would be open or muted, and then adding these two notes here on, uh, on the third frets of the high E and the B strings. But occasionally he would use the that note here as well but most of the time it's just you know that that chord that voicing of the chord so when we get to the G half of the bar he just strums the chord and then adds the sus4 so the sus4 is being played when you hammer on onto the fifth fret on the G string so you would have to play the fourth fret here and then you can do it with a pinky if you want to just hold the chord like that or you can use this finger if you want to so it's totally up to you and uh, <coughs> he would use this embellishment a lot uh, in this plan as well adding the sus4 then we have a little um, a little lick here so here we go to bend so it's basically like playing um, the A minor pentatonic here um, so bending the G string 7th fret then we go so you bend it up hold the bend and then you play 8 on B and 8 on high E then back to the B string and then you hit the, the G string again, bring down the, the band, pull off to the 5th fret and then go to the F, sus2 and then hammer on onto the, onto the major 3rd here, so making it standard F chord, major chord so. and then we finish off with the G again with, this, um, with these voicings so that's the first part, then uh, what he does, he rolls down the volume of the guitar a little bit to clean up the guitar and also switches to the bridge pickup, okay, so you get this sound. Alright, so let me play this second part through and then we're going to break it down, so it goes like this. So I'm going to stop right here uh, just to explain this chord progression. So we start off with uh, the C power chord again or C major. Little rest and then... So he plays four muted strings here. 
Then we go to the FSUS2 and here it's all about the dynamics like I said. So he just uh, uh, picks the chord but um, random strings and very kind of you know soft touch applying to uh, the to the chord to the strings you know just playing the low string adding some of the other strings of the chord um, and then then we go to the G just hitting the chord let it ring out again picking softly then so here a little hammer on from the open string to the third fret so uh, going into the C chord then quickly again moving through the B flat so just hitting that chord a couple of times F sus 2 G here he does a little uh, lick so as you hit the chord I hit it a couple of times then the lick goes so two times the low E third, uh, third fret then we have a quick hammer on open string to the third fret on the A string and then so here we're using the um, um, sixes so slide into that's the first uh, double stop so he slides into the bass note seventh fret A string then picks the uh, fifth fret on the G then we use the same shape just going down two frets and then this shape, so third fret on the A, second fret on the, on the G string. Like that, and then we're back to the C chord again with the hammer on. Quickly going through the B flat, F sus 2. Slide into the G, and here he adds the, the major third so you can hear it. Again, picking the chord uh, randomly, uh, just kind of arpeggiating um, lower strings, uh, higher strings, and so on. Then we have another lick. So here, very similar to the one that we did before, but slightly different uh, in terms of notes. So, so here we are bending again the G string, then we go into the B 8th fret, and then we play the 5th fret on a high E. Then back to the G string, bend up, bring down, pull off, go to the D string 7th fret and slide out. And here again from the F sus 2, hammer on onto the major chord, go into the G. And uh, yeah, so we stopped here from the previous uh, part so now i'm gonna play from here until the end of the intro intro and then we're gonna explain so it goes like this Okay, so that's the end of the intro, so as we left it off uh, on the G chord, again picking the, 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 the G chord randomly, then we have again the progression uh, for the variation you can use instead of this shape of the chord, the C you can use like a, the power chord, so going to the F, again playing between the sus2 and uh, um, the major chord going to the G. Here he does a little quick hammer on uh, going to the sus4 and back to the uh, major third and then just a quick pa uh, couple passing notes third fret to the fifth on the low E going to the C chord picking it two times F here a little bit adding a little bit of more dynamics going to the G chord starts building up a little bit so plays a little bit uh, with the more aggressive uh, style 
then he does the same thing as we did previously with the slide so he hits the the C chord again the slide if you want to do with a thumb slide out then back to the F and now here he goes into um, full volume so you can bring up the volume on the guitar just staying on the chord picking it a few times random picking here and then the end of the intro where we play this part so what we do here we slide into the 12th fret on the G string then we pick on the 10th fret uh, we pick B, high E, back to B. Then we have this part, so hammer on on uh, the uh, B string. And then picking the high E, we do it two times. Last note is going to be the B string. And also you let it ring out. Uh, it can create like a little chord here. Then we repeat again the first part. Here he picks it two times. You can pick it as a double stop and then two grace notes here. So meaning quick hammer-ons. Uh, you're fretting the double stop and hammering on onto the B string 12th fret. Then pick the double stop again. G string 12th fret and slide out. And then we go into the into the first verse. Uh, last two notes, again third fret through the fifth on the low E, go into the C note. So one more time this uh, little lick in the end, I'm gonna go like this slowly. Alright, so now I'm gonna play the whole intro, uh, all of the parts together from top until the end so you can see and hear what's going on it goes like this Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to continue learning the entire song, check out the link in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.